So let's solve this question on transformation and matrices. The question reads, a transformation represented by the matrix 2, 1, 1, negative 2 maps the point A, 0, 0, B, 2, 0, C, 2, 3, and D, 0, 3 onto A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime, respective A. Find the coordinates of A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime. Then B, draw the quadrilateral A, B, C, D and its image A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime to max and then part C hence or otherwise determine the area of A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime and then lastly another transformation represented by the matrix 0, negative 1, negative 1, 0 maps A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime on to A double prime, B double prime, C double prime, D double prime draw the image A double prime, B double prime, C double prime D double prime. So those are the questions. Now let's go to the first part. In the first part, uh, you're given transformation uh, matrix here. It maps uh, that quadrilateral into A prime, B prime. So we need to get the coordinates of A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime. So to get that, we simply take the matrix of transformation. We can call these matrix uh, T. Uh, I see that that is matrix T. So we take matrix T, which is uh, 2, 1, then 1, negative 2. And then we multiply it with uh, A, B, C, D. You should pre-multiply the matrix. The matrix of transformation should come first. Then we have uh, A is 0, 0. B is uh, 2, 0. C is 2, 3. D is 0, 3. So when you do that, we shall get A prime, B prime, C prime, and D prime. So we multiply. We start with the row 1, column 1. Uh, 2 times 0 plus 1 times this will be 0. So we'll fill the, the elements in the first row. So first row, second column will be 2 times this will be 4. Then this one will be 4C. We'll get 4 plus 3, that will be 7. Then for D, 0 plus 3, this will be 3. Then you go to the second row. So the second row, multiply by the first column first. This will be 0. Second row, second column. This is uh, 2, B2. Then that one will be 2 minus 6. That will be negative 4. And then for D, it will be 0, negative 6. Those are not the coordinates. So the coordinates are written in this form. So we have A prime, which is uh, 0, 0. B prime, 4, 2. C prime, 7, negative 4. D prime, 3, negative 6. So that is how you write the coordinate. That is the first part. The second part, you're supposed to draw the quadrilateral A, B, C, D and its image so let me look at the graph here so to see how much space i need let me look at the values the negatives and the positives so so we can see the space is okay so i can start by drawing the the axes here so those are the axes so you have the y axis and the x axis so in this one you shall have one this is one this is two three four five six so let me plot um a b c d so a is zero zero so a is zero zero so a is here then b b is uh, four two b is four two so b is here four two uh, c i think i've plotted the wrong one b is two zero i'm sorry b is two zero so b is two zero is here so this is a b then for C, 2, 3, and D, 0, 3. So we can join these. So there we have the quadrilateral A, B, C, D. So what about A prime? A prime. So A prime will be here still. So A prime is 0, 0. It will be in the same place, origin. Then B prime is 4, 2. B prime is here. This is a B prime. Then we have C prime, 7, negative 4. So we have negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and negative 4. So we have um, 7, negative 4. 7, negative 4 is here. C prime is there. And then D prime, 3, negative 6. 3, negative 6. 3, negative 6 is here. D prime is there. So let me join these. So this one will be from where we have 0 there up to that point and up to that point. So there we have D prime, 
we have uh, d prime is there so c prime is there b prime is there and a prime is there so we have plotted we have plotted both the object and the image so the other part hence or otherwise determine the area of a prime b prime c prime d prime so we're supposed to determine the area of the bigger quadrilateral so you can see these ones are rectangles and if these are rectangles we need to get the area of um before we go to that there's something that we must understand the matrix that maps a b c d to a prime b prime c prime d prime should give us the area scale factor you know that so from the matrix and the matrix is here the matrix that maps is a 2 1 1 negative 2 so 2 1 so the matrix is 2 1 1 negative 2 this is the matrix that maps a b c d to a prime b prime c prime d prime and these should give us the area scale factor so the determinant the determinant of this matrix determinant will give us the area scale factor that is uh, something that you must understand that the determinant of the matrix of transformation is equivalent to the area scale factor so how do you get the determinant you know how to get these we take these a product of this leading diagonal so 2 times negative 2 then subtract the product of the other diagonal which is 1 times 1 and this one so therefore we get the determinant of this matrix as negative 5 so meaning uh, that this object has been enlarged five times so therefore if we get the area of a b c d the area of a b c d area of a b c d this one is a rectangle which you just get length times width and this will give a one two this is a two one two three this six two squares on the on the width then three on the length so three by two three by two so it will be three by two so this will be six square units and from the determinant from the determinant we have negative five so therefore uh, if you want to get the the determinant determinant is given by determinant is given by area of the of the image divided by the area of the object and the determinant is uh, negative five we said you're going to take the absolute value because in this case we are getting the area and there's no way we get negative area that is why we take the absolute value we don't take negative five take five so the determinant is five so the area of the image we can say this is x this is what you're looking for then the area of the object is area of a b c d which is six so therefore working out uh, for x you get x will be 30 square units and that is the area of a prime b prime c prime d prime so that is how you simply get the area using the determinant of the matrix of transformation part d another transformation represented by the matrix 0 negative 1 we can let this matrix to be q maps a prime b prime c prime on two a double prime b double prime c double prime d double prime draw the image of a double prime b double prime c double prime d double prime so to do that i will simply take the matrix of transformation that is zero negative one negative one zero and then these matrix maps a prime b prime c prime d prime on two a double prime b double prime c double prime d double prime so we have the coordinates of a prime a prime was uh, zero zero then b b prime we got these is here b prime is four two is four two then c prime seven negative four and then d prime three negative six like that so we simply multiply out these so row one column one this will be zero so you start with the elements in the first row so this will be negative two this will be four this will be six then second row first column this will be zero this will be negative four negative seven negative seven and negative three like that so we are not required to give the coordinates but you can still write the coordinates a double prime this is zero zero b double prime this will be negative two negative four c 
double prime this is uh, 4 negative 7 e double prime 6 negative 3 so after getting that you need to draw it you need to draw it 0 0 0 0 then um, we have uh, negative 2 negative 4 so negative 2 negative 4 so 0 0 is here so a double prime is there 0 0 b double prime negative 2 negative 4 negative 2 negative 4 0 b double prime then c c double prime 4 negative 7 4 negative 7 to add this almost 4 negative 7 is here then lastly we have d d double prime 6 negative 3 6 negative 3 is here so d double prime is there so let us join these so there is the quadrilateral a double prime b double prime c double prime d double prime it is there so we have the the object is done there the image is done there let's go to the other part part e determine the single matrix which maps a double prime b double prime c double prime back to a b c d so we have we need to get a single matrix first to understand this the matrix that maps a b c d to a double prime b double prime c double prime d double prime and that matrix is uh, there are two transformations we started with the uh, matrix the first one was uh, the one that we let to be t t then followed by followed by this one the other one was here followed by q followed by q so we have a single matrix that transformed a b c d to a double prime b double prime c double prime d double prime and the matrix the first one was uh, here t this one matrix t then the other one was this one that we named as q so t followed by q so for us to get now the matrix that takes the image back to the object this will be the inverse so we need to get a single matrix this one is a successive the successive transformation single matrix for a successive transformation so after getting tq that one is a single matrix for a successive transformation we will get its inverse its inverse is the one that is going to map a double prime b double prime c double prime d double prime back to the object so we start by getting tq this one is successive transformation and t t was the first one that mapped a b c d to a prime b prime prime and that one was uh t is here t is here t is here t two one one negative two two one one negative two so it was two one one negative two then q q is here zero negative one negative one zero yeah now we need to get a singular matrix that will map a b c d to a double prime b double prime c double prime d double prime and since this one is a um, successive transformation we are getting a singular matrix for a successive transformation we do start with q we when you're getting the singular matrix in a successive transformation that is tq we begin with q we take q zero negative one negative one zero and then we multiply by t which is two one then one negative two like that so we multiply these and when we multiply these we shall get uh, this will be zero negative one here then this one will be two then this one will be negative two then this one will be negative one like that this is a zero so now this is a singular matrix whatever we have here this one is a singular matrix that maps uh, a b c d to a double prime b double prime c double prime d double prime so the one that will map now a double prime b double prime c double prime d double prime back to the to the object back to the object is the inverse of that matrix so we get the inverse of this matrix so how do we get the inverse of this matrix we start by getting the determinant and the determinant you know how to go about this we get the product of that that is the negative one times negative one then subtract two this diagonal two times negative two like that and this one will give one and uh, this one will give positive four so this one will be Five. The determinant is five. So therefore, now to get the matrix, matrix will be given by one divided by the determinant, which is five. And then you know how we interchange these values. So the inverse of these 
will be negative 1, negative 2, then 2, negative 1, like that. So this matrix will be, you can leave it like that, or you can multiply it out, each element here, by 1 over 5. So negative 1 over 5, negative 2 over 5, then 2 over 5, and negative 1 over 5, like that. So this is the matrix that is going to map the image back to the object.